In today's video, I'm going to take this thrifted bread box and I'm going to turn it into a coffee station for my home. I have a couple other items that I found at the thrift store that'll go along perfectly with my new design. There's a crackle finish on these pictures that I want to try to duplicate on my project today. My name's Cheryl and welcome to my channel. The first thing we need to do is do all the prep work before we can get to the fun stuff. I don't know about your area, but I do not find red boxes very often. So when I found this one, I was really excited. Coffee, I do every day. Bread, not so much. I had a little bit left over of Wiesel Synthetic Chalk Paint in Black, so I used that as my primer. I used this thrifted rectangle shape Lazy Susan. I guess that's what it is. Highly recommend if you see one in a thrift store to buy it. It makes painting so much easier. When the chalk paint was dry, I used Wise Owl Paint One Hour Enamel in Jet Black. And I used Antique Villa on the front of the box where I'm going to decoupage. While everything was drying, I started working on the cup tree. And I, to make it easier to paint, I drilled a little hole in this piece of wood and I stuck a skewer in there so that I could put the, um, the tree on that for painting. And while that dried, I used Wise Owl Glaze in Black Pearl. I've never used this product before and I wasn't sure I was gonna like it, so I did one side of the, this is the lid of the bread box. I really liked how it turned out too. You can't really see it in the video, but there's a little shimmer in the glaze. It turns out so pretty. And we're finally ready for decoupage. I purchased this design off of Etsy and then I printed it onto rice paper. And I'm just showing you right here that don't try to cut rice paper on this kind of cutter. It just tore my rice paper to pieces. So I had to print another one and this time I used scissors. I have my plastic wrap all ready to smooth out the wrinkles. And I used clear matte top coat for my decoupage medium. You want to just put down a nice layer of whatever medium you're using. You can also use Mod Podge. If you haven't decoupaged before, using rice paper is way easier than using, for instance, a napkin or tissue paper. It's thicker and it's just easier to work with. For this project, I'm not putting a top coat over the decoupage paper, and you'll see why in a minute. Since my paint mat is pretty messy, I'm going to use this silicone mat to do the clay on. And the first thing we want to do is put cornstarch in our molds so that the clay will release easier. I'm using IOD clay, which is my favorite clay to use, and I'm only going to tear off the amount I think I need. I'm going to put the rest back so it doesn't dry out, and then I'm going to warm this clay up in my hands so it's easier to work with. The mold I'm using today is a little bit longer, so I'm doing it in two sections. I'm going to fill this one section, and you, I just take my thumb and rub off the excess clay. And then I take the rest of the clay, work it again, and then just fill the other section. And the last time I was at the thrift store, I found this cute little rolling pin that worked perfectly to smooth out the clay. Just flip your mold over and gravity and cornstarch should make the clay come right out. 
and I like to use an X-Acto knife to clean up the edges. But on this side, my rolling pin didn't work so great. Isn't that terrible? I didn't even take off the price tag. So I just peeled it off the rolling pin and did it again. This project was a work in progress. I didn't really know how I was going to do everything when I started. So after I got the decoupage paper down, I decided that I would go in and paint the sides before I glued down the clay. the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there'd be no wars mm. of you. the decoupage paper is now dry and ready to put the crackle effect on this is, like I said before, this is the first time I've used this and there weren't any instructions on the bottle. So I went to YouTube to find a tutorial on how to use this crackle. And now I'm a pro. Not really, but here we go. You start with component number one and you want to put down a nice layer. And at this point, I'm thinking, oh my, this is really white. I hope it dries clear. Why didn't I do a practice project before I did it on this? But wait and see how it turns out. This first step needs to be completely dry before you apply component number two. So this was a perfect stopping place for me to stop and get ready for work. So while I was taking down my camera, I dropped it. And this is what happened. <laughs> So I scraped it off, redid it, and hoped I didn't mess up the component number one too much. I came back after work, everything was nice and dry, and I started component number two. And this is the layer you put down and you don't really want to overwork it. Try to put down a nice even coat and don't over brush it which I, I think I kind of did, but it actually turned out. While component two was drying, I painted all the clay molds. And as you can see here in this picture, I also sanded off the bottom of the decoupage paper. This is the video that probably wasn't gonna happen. I had a total crash of my computer and I was grateful I had enough footage to do this video. Once you get an initial coat of paint down on the clay molds, it's really beneficial to use a fine temp paintbrush and go around and get in all the nooks and crannies, which is what I'm doing here. Component two is dry, but the crackles aren't really showing up. So I'm taking some black wax and I'm going over all the light areas of the paper and over the rooster I'm going to use white wax to bring out the crackles. I then just used a soft cloth and I took away all the excess wax leaving all the crackles exposed. I used DIY Golden Ticket Liquid Patina and went all over the clay molds. Golden Ticket is liquid patina, so it's a sealer. So if you want to wipe it back, you need to do it right away because it goes on more like a paint and not wax, which has a longer work, working time. Joy, 
And then I went along the top and the bottom of the door in Golden Ticket. And here's a close-up of the crackle. I love this finish. Let me know, have you used this before? Do you have any tips for me? Here you can see how hard that finish dries. I couldn't even push the screw through the little hole for the knob. I had to get my X-Acto knife and cut a little hole in it to be able to screw the knob back on. To finish up the tree mug, I applied one coat of the Wiesel paint one hour enamel in jet black. And then for the post, I used the liquid patina in golden ticket for all the posts. I also used liquid patina for the knob on the door and the same glaze for the base of the tree. I really liked the frame. I thought it looked good with the um, bread box, but I really didn't know what to put in the middle. So I just took a piece of scrapbook paper with some French script on it. I thought about decoupaging one of these little um, roosters and ch or chickens on there, but at the end I decided that the paper looked fine and I just went with that. And here's how everything turned out. I'm calling this French country. I know French country is usually more blues and greens and creams, but every kitchen can have a little black and this is just a fun accent piece for my kitchen. I even thrifted the mugs, which I really liked, but there are only three. That's what happens when you thrift, but I'll be on the lookout for three more. And this is the perfect spot for K cups. The little jars were also thrifted. This is the fine line crackle and I'm sure I'll have a video coming up using the regular crackle. I just would love to see how the different finishes turn out. And if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below, do you like this kind of finish? Do you like this look? I'd love to know.